Welcome back. So we learned how to use multiple components to, well, nest them in each other and to create our web application with different components, which of course is an important step. But we not only want to display static content, so our static HTML code here, we also want to display dynamic content. And React.js makes this very easy. You can output dynamic content in your template or in your render method here by using curly braces, single curly braces. That's important, especially if you're coming from an Angular 2 background, for example. In these curly braces, you can write any valid JavaScript expression, for example, 2 plus 2. And if I save this and then go back, well, you see I got 4 here. So that is how I can output uh, things here. Now, what will happen if I do this? Let's say I write a multi-line expression like that. That doesn't work. So you have to keep it to one line, but in that one line, you may write whatever you want. If you have more complex logic, what you wanna write or that you wanna output, you can do this in the render method here before, for example, have a if condition and then do something like um, let, or you, you then have a variable, let content equals an empty string, for example, and then you just assign content to be uh, whatever you want it to be. Let's say a paragraph, whoops, no, a paragraph where you say hello. Well, then you could do it like that and then simply output the content variable here, which allows you to output hello, since true is of course always true. And here I would have a more complex check outside of the return function and only output content, the variable in my well return function, but again with the single curly braces. And the single curly braces are important here, of course. So again, single curly braces allow you to output variables or output any code, or the result of any code you have in between them. Could also be a string, for example, that would also work. If I save this, well, then we see hello here. So again, between the curly braces, that will be run as JavaScript code. Important thing to keep in mind, it may only be one line. You can use ternary expressions though. So you could check, check something like five equals two. And if that is the case, then you output yes. Otherwise you output no, that would work. And that should display no, of course, since five isn't equal to two. So that will work. But again, it has to be one line and then you can output any calculation or any other variable. And that is especially important for the next video where I will talk about props, what props are and how to use them. And then you will see many things of the, well, things I just showed you. So see you there. Bye.